Welcome to the e-invoice API testing system. To access the system, please enter your login credentials, capture and click on submit. Let us now see what is in store after we log into the portal. First option is to add additional test accounts to test the APIs. Here if the logged in user is an eligible taxpayer, they can create user accounts for their counterparts who have registered in other states based on the same PAN. If the logged in user is a GSP, they can create accounts for other eligible taxpayers. The method is similar to registration process. Let us understand Get Token. Here, the user will be able to check whether the credentials created including the client ID and client secret, are working. The developer can also briefly understand the steps involved in calling the authentication API. It is recommended to understand the steps through this utility before writing and integrating own code to call authentication API. Please make sure to test other APIs on this tool in the same session, as successful authentication is mandatory here. The URL is auto-populated. This is the endpoint for Auth API. All other credentials are auto-populated except the password. Provide the actual password. The test tool has generated app key, which is a random 32-byte array. Click on the sample JSON. This will show the request payload in the payload plain text box. Here, the password and app key are shown only for the purpose of representation. Click on the encrypt payload link. This will encrypt the password and the app key. Using the IRP public key for the actual request payload, and populate in the payload encrypted box. During development phase, the developer can copy and paste the payload generated by their code in this box and test. Click on Generate Token button. This will send the request to the server. Get the response and populate the encrypted response JSON in Response Encrypted box. Clicking the decrypt response link, the SEK in the response is decrypted using the app key and the whole JSON is shown in response plain text box. Once authenticated this way, the logged in user can go to the home page and try learning about the other APIs. Let us now see how the APIs that use the HTTP POST methods work. The drop-down shows the list of APIs using the POST methods. Let us choose Generate e-invoice from the list. The endpoint of the respective API appears in the box below. The parameters that go as part of the request header are shown for the reference including the authentication token that was obtained as part of the authentication process. The decrypted SEK, which is actually byte array, is represented here as a string. Click on the link sample JSON, which will populate the sample request JSON in payload plain text box. The required changes to meet the validations needs to be done in the JSON, such as the document date should be of today or yesterday. The document number should be unique and the seller GSTIN should be of the logged in user. The seller PIN code should belong to the state to which the logged in user belongs to. The user can change values of various other attributes to test and analyze how the validations work. After all required changes are made, click on the Encrypt Payload link. The request JSON 
will be encrypted using the SAK and populated in the payload encrypted box. The developer can paste own encrypted payload here to test the encryption process and proceed further. Click on the Generate IRN button. This will call the Generate IRN API and post the encrypted payload. The response, which is encrypted JSON, will be shown in Response Encrypted box and the same after decrypting using SEK will be shown in Response Plain Text. In the response, one can see the acknowledgement number, date, IRN, eWayable details if in case the eWayable generation was part of the request, signed invoice, and signed QR code. Other POST APIs work similarly. The difference would be in the endpoint and the request payload in the request plain text box. Let us see how the APIs that use the HTTP GET methods work. The drop-down shows the list of APIs using the POST methods. Let us choose GET Invoice by IRN from the list. IRN that is already generated may be pasted in the box below. The next box shows the complete URL along with the IRN as the parameter value. The parameters that go as part of the request header are shown for the reference including the authentication token that was obtained as part of authentication process. Click on the Get Request Response button. This will call the Get IRN Details API. The response which is encrypted JSON will be shown in response encrypted box and the same after decrypting using SEK will be shown in response plain text. Other GET APIs work similarly. The difference would be in the endpoint and the way the required attributes are passed in the URL. Now let's focus on the right side menu. There are other essential details for the developers in this portal. The developer would require the IRP's public key for encrypting the password and the app key while authenticating. The public keys for the sandbox environment are available for download from the Get Public Key link. All the endpoints for the published APIs are available under API Endpoints. One can check and verify their encryption and decryption outputs by comparing them with the outputs generated by this tool by providing the SEK used and the string to be encrypted or decrypted under Encrypt or Decrypt link. The JSON created by the end user application can be validated against the schema under Validate JSON link. One can also check the validity of the signed invoice or the signed QR code under the signed response decrypt link.